Once upon a time in a small village nestled between mist-covered mountains, there lived a wise Zen master named Master Koji. People from far and wide sought his guidance on matters of the heart and soul. One day, a troubled villager named Taro approached Master Koji with a heavy heart. Master Koji, Taro sighed. I am burdened by the toxicity of certain people in my life. Their negativity clouds my mind and drains my spirit. How can I handle such toxic relationships? Master Koji, with a serene smile, invited Taro to sit by the bubbling brook near his humble dwelling. The master spoke in parables, a language of simplicity that conveyed profound wisdom. Imagine, Master Koji began, that your mind is like this clear stream, flowing gently through the landscape of your life. The water represents your thoughts and emotions. When a toxic person enters your life, it is as if they pour murky water into your stream. Taro nodded, understanding the metaphor. Master Koji continued, In the face of toxicity, do not resist or block the murky water. Instead, let it flow through your stream without clinging to it. Allow the current of your thoughts and emotions to remain pure. Detach yourself from the negativity they bring, for it is not yours to carry. Taro listened intently, absorbing the master's teachings. The Zen master then shared a story of a lotus flower that thrived in muddy waters. Just like the lotus that rises above the mud, you can rise above the negativity. Cultivate the strength to remain untouched by the toxicity around you. Respond with kindness, understanding, and compassion, for in doing so, you transform the poison into medicine. Taro, inspired by the wisdom, asked, But master, how can I cultivate such strength? Master Koji smiled gently. Through the practice of mindfulness. Observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Focus on your breath and let each inhale and exhale cleanse your inner stream. In this way, you build resilience and cultivate a heart that remains open in the face of toxicity. As Taro left Master Koji's presence, he felt a newfound sense of peace and clarity. The wisdom of the Zen master echoed in his heart, guiding him to handle toxic relationships with grace and inner strength, just like the lotus that blooms in the midst of muddy waters.